Hi everyone, in a previous video, I was showing how you can do A-B testing with the premium features of Matomo that you can find within the cloud uh, for uh, basic emailing uh, today. So that's A-B testing. Today I'm gonna show the method where you use uh, JavaScript on your pages. So to make it simple, I have one button over here and I would like to test uh, the color of it. I'd like to know if people are interacting more with this given button when it's red or when it's blue. So uh, this time actually the testing is happening on my uh, personal website. So in order to run this test, I need of course uh, to go over here under A-B testing. Then I need to click here on manage A-B testing. Then I need to create a new A-B testing. So in my case, I clicked on this given button. I then uh, put some information over here, as you can see. Uh, so I gave a name. So here once again, this name will um, appear on your source code. So actually uh, give a name which is explicit, but maybe not that explicit in order for any visitors to clearly understand what kind of thing you are testing uh, behind and make your hypothesis. So in my case, I suspect that the blue button convert more than the red one, then uh, I describe it. So um, typically uh, what, what I would like to test and then give a name to your variation. So in my case, I have the original one, which is the red version and I have the blue button. Once you uh, do that, uh, what you need to do is you need to click here on embed code. And what I did not understood is that uh, you just need actually this given piece of code. Actually, if you click <coughs> over here, uh, you have a full uh, documentation explaining you how far you can go uh, with the A-B testing. But I got confused in my case because I thought that actually I needed to uh, read and apply the full stuff, whereas actually some of them are really just uh, optimization. So for example, in my case, uh, here they're saying, okay, uh, please use actually this given uh, piece of code instead of uh, the classic one because it will avoid uh, the, the flash, right? So I'm gonna explain a little bit more what is the flash, but if you would like to still keep the flash, it's not a problem, you can still keep uh, the old part and then embed an experiment correspond to this tracking code, okay? And what I thought, because after it continue and it goes uh, like implementing an experiment and I thought that actually this had to be an additional tracking code to add to uh, the page where it's actually implementing an experiment is already part of uh, this given part that you can see up here, okay? So uh, what I did in order to implement the, the test is I went here on uh, um, my Matomo uh, account. Here I just used actually the same uh, tracking code that I had before. So here is the legacy, I want to like this, the legacy uh, Matomo tracking code. And then I copy and paste this given uh, tracking code, which correspond to this one, okay? that I modified a little bit, okay? So in order to modify it, of course, um, so here you have the, the first part of the, the, the test, right? So that's the, uh, if I understood it well, it's gonna be like the identifier of uh, the original version. So every time that this <clears throat> part of the code is executed, it's gonna uh, show the original page or original element that you wanted to show to your uh, given visitor and this part is the one with firing actually uh, the variation. So this is where you need, okay, on this specific line, that's why it's commented. This is where you need actually to run uh, your experiment. So in my case, what I want to test is for this given element, I would like to know, so inspect element, I would like to know. So yeah, I'm kind of lucky because I have uh, an ID so I can play on this one. So I would like to test when the color of this given ID changed, then what are uh, the consequences? So in my case, I just go like this, right? I pick up the color over here and then um, I went on, um, I went on the official documentation page. So this one and I copy and paste this uh, this given line, right? Because this one is telling me, okay, um, change, I mean, grab the element which has the ID. So in my case, that was menu item something, right? So that was menu item uh, one for 
1907, then style color, and I put it uh, here actually the uh, blue color. So in my case, that it was not really style color because style color is the text element. In my case, I wanted to get uh, the, the background color. So I made a bit of search on the internet how to change uh, the CSS background color. I found out this website and just copy and paste uh, the line of code in order to create uh, this given line that you can see here. Okay, that's the only thing that I change uh, within the tracking code of this uh, given uh, tracking code uh, produced by Matomo itself. So as you can imagine, there's no much to do actually in order to implement an A-B testing. You just need to copy and paste uh, the MB tracking code that they are giving you if uh, you still want the flash to appear. And uh, you just need to uh, make the magic here of the JavaScript in order to have your page dynamically making the change for you. Okay, so that's that's what I did. And here the trigger that I defined my tomo is the page you want. So now let's go uh, let's go on my website. Okay, so here is my website. So da da da. Okay. Here's my website. As you can see, uh, you have the flash running rate. You could see when I uh, load this page that actually there was uh, the red part and then it came blue. So that's, uh, of course, that's an issue and that's because I've been lazy. And I've been lazy because uh, I did not implement this, uh, yeah, this given part of the tracking code. Um, I will probably do it in the next video, but I just really wanted to test uh, the A-B testing and show you how it is. Um, so normally here, this given visit will be assigned as uh, the test of uh, the blue button version. So now let's let's clear my cookie. So in order to clear my cookie, I'm gonna go on the inspect element and I'm gonna uh, delete all the cookies that you can see here. Okay, uh, what I will do now is I'm going to change as well. i change as well my, um, my user agent. So in order to do so, I'm just going to go over here and click here. I'm going to change my user agent in order to change the fingerprint and format to mode not to analyze um, me as a returning visitor. Okay, and I'm going to go on website again. Okay, and here, as you can see, uh, this is the original uh, version. And what I can do as well now, it's I'm gonna do again the same thing. I'm gonna inspect the element. I'm gonna clear the cookie. So to clear all those cookies, I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna change again my um, this time I'm gonna just change I'm gonna take e -E, I E and I'm gonna go on this one, right? So this one and this one. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so uh, normally here I get enough uh, enough data. So as you can see, I have many visits which have been uh, produced. So if I go here on the visitor log, I will get my people which are blue button. This one is the original one. This one is the blue button and so on and so forth. So all the data have been sent and the different version of my Matomo have been shown up and I can probably have a look at them uh, within, so it was button color. Yep, I got the visits come in. They come in. Uh, city app button is button color. Okay, so I guess I still need to wait a little bit more because probably the data are not coming in in real time. But as you can see, uh, the visits have been uh, have been fired. I got some visit coming from the original version, some from the blue button one. And uh, now I just need actually to wait for the data to come, and at the end I will get. Uh, the final result, and I will know actually which uh, version converts uh, the most. So actually, here you can see that it seems actually some people already um, uh, seems actually already to like mod the blue button version. But I'm not sure. I really need to wait and to get enough uh, enough data in order to to take a decision. So uh, uh, that's it for this video. I guess you understood the major point of the A/B testing and how to deploy it on a website. So it's all about uh, creating your test. And once you create your test, you have a code that you need to embed. Uh, this code is actually a bit more complex than what we imagine. So it's, uh, I mean, everything is listed here if you want to have it uh, to, to flash a little bit. 
Um, so if you are okay with that to have, a, to have it as a flat, you can just copy and paste this given tracking code. And the part that you need to change in order to have your test effective is this comment line, and that's it. And once you uncomment it and you implement actually the JavaScript tracking code that you want up here, and then you have already your uh, test uh, up and running, uh, and that's it. So I would say that if you use uh, Matomo Tag Manager, it's really straightforward that you can start already to, to play and do testing on your website without, uh, let's say, uh, changing that much of your of your source code. And I will say that every analyst or every marketing players, if they have a basic knowledge of JavaScript, can interact and do it without uh, the help of uh, developers for simple cases. Thanks for watching.